Hello comrades, uh, my name is Michael Gröbsting, I'm the International Secretary of the Revolutionary Communist International Tendency, RCIT. Uh, today is a rally uh, in the center of Vienna in solidarity with the popular uprising of the Kashmiri people. I want to take this opportunity to say a few words of the, about the recent border clashes between India and China in the Himalaya region. In our point of view, this is a reactionary conflict on both sides. China is an imperialist great power, it is the, the great power which is now about to challenge the US as the absolute hegemon of the imperialist world order. Uh, it has uh, expansionist uh, perspectives, it projects, it tries to uh, increase its influence throughout uh, the world, uh, in particular with its so-called Belt and Road Initiative. Uh, there can be no doubt that despite the formal socialist communist ideology of the regime in Beijing, uh, this, has, is, this regime is nothing, uh, about, has nothing about socialism. In fact, it is a Stalinist capitalist regime which is brutally exploiting the workers and the poor peasants in China itself as well as in many other countries. Just uh, to give one example, China has now become the second largest country with the second largest number of monopolies of big corporations uh, among the, the biggest uh, 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 global monopolies. Uh, so it is clearly a capitalist power. India, in contrast, is not an imperialist great power. The right-wing Hindutva chauvinist government of Modi would like to transform India into an imperialist great power, but uh, India in its whole uh, economic and social structure is characterized by backwardness. Uh, of there are also some uh, techno technologically advanced uh, sectors, but by and large still uh, many, uh, the largest sector of the population is employed in agriculture. Uh, there are, for example, about, there are about uh, 317, I think, uh, Chinese monopolies uh, among the top 2,000 corporations in the world, but only 75 of India. So there's a huge uh, contrast. Uh, there are very few Indian monopolies who can play a dominating role in the world. In fact, uh, China has a strong economic influence in India itself. Um, but uh, India is first, it's a reactionary power. There's no doubt about it. Uh, the, the Kashmir, the oppression of the people in Kashmir is the most glaring example. But India also tries to impose its hegemony in neighboring countries, albeit its influence is uh, decreasing in the last years. The only, India is as an economic power, by military means, it, it is much weaker than China, but, but it tries to challenge uh, China, it tries to increase its, its influence against China as a proxy, as an ally of American imperialism. The Modi government is increasingly looking to build close relations, strategic relations with American imperialism, which by naturally as an interest in, in finding allies against China. So in fact there's a, it's a conflict between one imperialist power, China, and another, we, could, we would characterize it as a semi-colonial intermediate power, which is acting as a proxy, as an ally of American imperialism. Therefore both sides represent reactionary forces, socialists, have no side to choose in such a conflict. Both sides are reactionaries. reactionary. Uh, on both sides, uh, socialists have to agitate against chauvinism, against boycott campaigns, and it is currently taking place, this, such kind of boycott campaigns in India. Socialists must oppose this, not out of sympathy for, the, uh, for, for China, but out of an internationalist, anti-chauvinist stance. Our goal is to uh, build a union, build links between the workers and oppressed in India as well as China to fight together against the oppressors, the capitalists both, which, which are in power both in New Delhi as well as in Beijing. This is the position of the RCIT, this is our internationalist program. Long live international socialism.